Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing um, a one hour editing challenge today and uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, what's about to happen for the next hour. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like at the end, but let's just go ahead and jump right into Photoshop. Uh, today my theme is for this one hour challenge is sleeping um, and being protected by God while you are asleep. And so I had this idea um, where someone is asleep, and so maybe they're just kind of like, you know, on the ground uh, sleeping here, and uh, maybe they have a blanket over them or whatever. Um, and they're asleep, and, you know, when you're asleep, you can't, you know, defend yourself. You can't, uh, you know, see what kind of dangers there are. You can't see what kind of uh, enemies you have. And so I envision, like, someone who's asleep outside, um, and then there would be, like, this hand. Oh, I don't know if I can draw a hand here, but... There would be this hand. Let's see if I can draw a hand. All right, you get the idea. That's a hand. Uh, and this would be, you know, representative of, of the hand of God that's uh, protecting you uh, while you asleep. And it's essentially covering um, this person here. And then uh, to show that he is protecting you, um, I would have like these arrows, these flaming arrows. I've done a lot of flaming arrow pictures before. Uh, but they would be hitting the hand. Um, and protecting this person uh, while they are asleep. And so that's kind of the idea. It's kind of like you're in a war zone and there's all these arrows uh, uh, that are on fire and they're you know um, going through the, the air here. And um, this person, even though that they're asleep, they're unaware, they're still being protected. I thought about like having like also like uh, you know their shield, maybe have like their shield here um, and it's not being used, you know because they're asleep. And so, like, their shield is, like, laying to the side or something like that. Uh, but that's the idea. And so what I want to do is I want to use um, some of my own pictures um, and some uh, stock stock photos as well, uh, free ones that are available, like on Unsplash. Uh, but I'm going to use some of my images and uh, combine everything together and then hopefully make this look pretty cool. So I've got one hour to do it. Uh, let's see what we can do. So I may make a lot of mistakes throughout this, but I hope that you and you know still learn something from watching my process, uh, watching how I do this. And of course, I've got many other tutorials on YouTube or on Gumroad. You can click the link in the description below if you want to learn more um, how to do the the artwork I do in Photoshop. All right. So the first thing I want to do is add a background. And so um, our background, I found this picture on Unsplash. I think it's really cool. It's just a, a nice little background. I think this would be a, a good place to start. I've got uh, my Photoshop um, canvas open and we are at 4,000 by 5,000 pixels, um, which is just a good, you know, a good uh, dimensions for like, you know, Instagram or, you know, on social media or whatever. Um, which is probably where I'll post this. And so I want to make sure it looks uh, decent like that. Um, this picture is not 4,000 by 5,000. So I'm just going to kind of squish it right there. So it looks like that. And I'm actually going to make it just a little bit shorter as well. I'm not going to worry about this top part right here. Um, because I want to have something in the sky that looks a little bit more ominous. Those clouds don't look too ominous. Um, and so I found this picture as well. And so I'm going to use this picture got some dark clouds in here and uh, I'm also going to kind of lower my horizon just a little bit so the horizons kind of like in the middle of this picture so something kind of like that so we got some nice dark clouds and then I'm going to just mask out the bottom here just with a basic brush there we go this part doesn't have to be perfect um, but just want to kind of mix these two together there's a little road here in the background let's just kind of blend that together this this, this background is not going to be that important but i do want to make it look like it's semi believable um, our dark cloud background is a little bit too dark so let me do a levels adjustment on it and uh, let's bring some of these blacks down because that's just way too dark and we'll bring some of our whites down and i think that's Eh, it's not too bad. Let's take a little bit of red. Something like that. Before and after. Good enough. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of uh, fog here. A little bit of atmosphere, rather. So I'm just going to grab some of these little bluish, grayish colors here. And just kind of paint just a little bit of atmosphere here in the background. 
Just kind of like that. Perfect. All right, now anytime you add atmosphere like this, which is perfectly fine if you do that, it's always good to just go up and add some noise to that. So noise, add noise, and we'll do 1% is probably good. Just like that, and I think that's a decent start. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to add uh, the model here that's gonna be sleeping. And so I got a picture of my wife, and uh, this is actually an old picture. This is like seven or eight years old. I don't know how old it is. Um, but this is a, a older picture of my wife. Um, she's not here right now. She's actually at work. And so um, I didn't want to take a picture of me sleeping because I've been doing a lot of pictures of me lately. So I wanted a picture of her. So I got this picture of her sleeping and I've already got her um, uh, cut out of the background. So I've already got her cut out from the original project. Uh, so that's going to save a little bit of time here. And let's just go ahead and bring her in. And uh, I'm going to right click her make her a smart object and let's just go ahead and make her a little bit smaller so she kind of fits in here and so with this scene here you know you see like these rocks here in the foreground and the grass in the background i'm going to kind of just stick her somewhere right in here i think is that looks that looks like it's okay something kind of like that um, now, in the original image, she was, um, we had the pillow up against this little table because we had a different project in mind. Um, and that's okay. We'll just pretend that like, there's a rock. She's like, she's got her pillow up against a rock. So we'll just pretend that that's what's going on. Um, and I think for the, for most viewers, I think that's going to be okay. Um, so I do want to go ahead and uh, zoom in here and it looks like she would be behind this little rock right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Um, a layer mask on her and I'm just going to cut out this little rock right here. Just cut out this rock. So it looks like the, the blanket that she is uh, sleeping on is behind this rock. She's further away from the camera uh, by doing it this way. So let me just do this. Nice crisp rock right here. I think that's good. And there is a little bit of grass over here. I don't know if I'm going to worry with that too much. I think that's good right there. All right, she's behind the rock. That's that's the main thing. I just want to make it look like she's she's in the scene a little bit better. Okay. Now, she does look a little bit out of place. Uh, her body is very warm, and this background is kind of dark. It's kind of low contrasty. It's kind of bluish. So we're going to have to do a bunch of layer adjustment layers on her. And so let's see what we can do here. Let's try a levels adjustment first. I'm just going to make her a little bit darker. That's a good start, I think, because uh, she's just much too bright right now. And uh, we're going to bring in some of our blacks. And let's see if we can get some of those reds to go away as well. Bring some blues in. Something kind of like that. All right, I think that's a good start. Uh, before I do any more levels adjustment on her, I'm just going to go ahead and add a shadow under her. Sometimes that just helps me personally. Um, so I'm going to multiply layer underneath her with some grays. And we're just going to paint some little shadows where her blanket is making contact with the ground because naturally that's what would happen. Get a little bit darker shadows right here under her elbow and her pillow. Right in there. Something a little bit like that. All right, so now it looks like she is making contact with the ground, so that's what we wanted. Let me kind of fine tune this a little bit. That's always like, for me, it's like a really important thing when you do compositing is make it look like they're interacting with the background, whether it's shadows or putting them behind rocks or, or whatever it is. Just make it look like 
they are interacting with this background in some way. All right. Now, let's continue up here. Um, she's a little... The color's just not quite exactly what I want, so I'm just going to play around with some other uh, um, adjustment layers here. Let's try a little bit of blue. Something like that. Okay. That's all right. And then I'm going to do some dodging and burning real quick. So I'm just going to get a black um, brush, change it to soft light. I'm just going to kind of paint in a little bit of shadows here and there. Just using a brush, not nothing, nothing too fancy. Just kind of outline her like her legs and stuff, so you can see like there's her body, there's her feet down here. Just kind of make these things a little bit darker, like right behind that rock, just a little bit darker. Just a little bit of dodging. Oh, this is burning. I'm going to dodge in just a second. Um, but some of these little details, you know, sometimes it just makes the uh, the image look a little bit more painterly. Just kind of looks a little bit more interesting sometimes. And sometimes it looks worse. So I just play around with it. All right. And let's go ahead and do some dodging. So I'm going to on the same layer. Oh, I had a hard light. I don't want to do hard light. We want to do like overlay or soft light. Let's just do overlay. Okay, so on the same layer, let's do a little bit of dodging. So we're going to just dodge like the really top part of her of the body here. Maybe where her arm is at, the top part of the pillow, maybe a little bit on her face. Just really focus where those legs are. Just, you know, just trying to look for different details in here just to make certain little shadows and highlights pop. And I like that. And it's always good to have, you know, when you dodge and burn, just make sure that you have different sizes on your your brush you don't want the same size brush with every stroke that's just not going to look uh, natural it's just not going to look very good so kind of vary it all right I think we're just about good here all right, so here's without here's dodging and burning with with it and without you can just see it just makes it makes it look just a little bit more interesting you know, just trying different things right there. So I think that's good like that. And yeah, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Maybe one more layer of dodging and burning. Just going to do just a little bit more right here. Kind of like a rim light. Right there on top. All right, we got her there. Now, the next thing I want to do is start, because I think this is going to be one of the harder parts, is working on this hand. And so I've got a picture of my hand um, that I took. I've got these little string lights I got off of Amazon. Uh, they're just little string lights uh, with a little LED battery, uh, or just a little circle battery, whatever they're called. Not LED, but um, just a little lithium battery in there. Um, and so you, I put them over top of my skin here. Because I know that that's where the arrows are going to go, the flaming arrows. And so I've got them over top of my fingers here and, and my arm and stuff like that. And I've already cut most of my arm out, my hand out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, copy this, and I'm going to bring it in here and put it right in top of the uh, main part of the scene. And I'm not going to make it a smart object, but I am going to kind of move it around just a little bit. So something like this. Now it looks a little creepy right now, like this hand's about to grab her. And uh, so we don't want it to be creepy at all. Um, but we're, we're going to play around with it. But I want to make sure that I got this hand in here about where it needs to go. Definitely needs to be protecting her. I don't want it like right over top of her. Um, I want to have like, you know, it's kind of like in the sky. So kind of like that. I'd say something like that. 
looks all right. And now I'm going to do just a little bit of a puppet warp. Kind of want this arm to go up just a little bit more. Kind of like that. Kind of like curve it. Move this finger around. That's the cool thing with Puppet Warp is you can just kind of move your joints and everything all around. Let's click that. So that or that. It's not a significant difference, but something like that, I think. It's good. All right, so you see these wires, too. You see these wires that are on my skin. We do not want that. We're not having wires in this image. Uh, so I'm just going to use my uh, healing brush here and try to get rid of some of these wires. Not going to get rid of these little bright spots because that's where the um, the arrows are going to be. But I do want to get rid of the the actual wire part. So just healing and sampling. See how my little hairs on my arm here. Um, so it's the healing brush isn't doing a great job with the hairs, but that's okay because I don't think you were going to see too much of it anyway. I wasn't going to shave my arms for this one. That would not be <laughs> that would not be very fun. Uh, so something like this looks pretty good. So these are going to be our, our little bright spots where we're getting hit by arrows. <clears throat> and I think that looks okay. Let's go ahead and save our project. We are 16 minutes in. I think we're going to do it in one hour. I sure hope we are. All right. So we're going to add some arrows um, to the top of it. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to kind of... Um, I want to kind of play around with this arm just a little bit more um, and make it blend just a little bit better first. So let's do some levels adjustment on this one. It's Again, it's too warm. This is a blue type of scene. You know, it's kind of, it's a little bit cooler. It, you know, the idea is it's nighttime, you know, you're sleeping. And so it's a little bit cooler. So let's just um, kind of bring down our tone just a little bit to more like a blue not like a blue blue but you know just a little bit cooler tones something kind of like that all right so that's start of an improvement and another thing I would like to do is um, I don't want it to look like a creepy like you know um, dark hand coming in here so I kind of want to just add like a little bit of highlight um, on the bottom part of the hand um, see she's not in shadow like in, in reality if you had a hand coming down uh, she would be like in this big shadow and everything else would be light around her um, but she would be in the shadow but I don't want to do it quite like that although that would be more you know that would be more accurate um, I don't want to do it like that this is more of a stylized type picture and so what I want to do is I just want to kind of a little bit of highlights on the bottom part of this hand. Kind of, kind of like a glowing hand. You know, if this is the hand of God, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's not really dark and shadowy. It's more like a, a glowing, uh, full of light hand. And so that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking here. I may change my mind as we go on, but it's kind of the thing I'm, it's kind of my thought process right now. So kind of like this. Just with a brush, of course. Like that. Change this to overlay. That didn't do very much, did it? Let's do another one where we do overlay. And this will make it just a little bit brighter. I don't want to waste too much time experimenting, but sometimes that's where my my most um, interesting effects come is just experimenting, just trying different, new different things, you know? So I don't want to waste too much time because I do want to finish this in an hour, but I also want to just make it look pretty good. All right, I'm going to do a divide blend mode. You, If you've watched me, you know I love divide blend modes. Um, 
with orange, which is going to turn it blue. So let's try... Oh, we don't have it on divide. There we go. And let's make sure it's nice and saturated. Some blue down here at the bottom. And it's, you know, it's kind of a blue, you know, sky. And so kind of make a little bit of sense to have a little bit of blue light. But the reason I'm doing this is I don't want her to be in complete shadow. I just, because... And she'd almost be like in, in darkness uh, because this hand is so big. And I just, I just want to avoid having her completely in shadow and not being able to see any details. So kind of the idea for this one. All right. Something like that. Something like that. This. We can always take this out if this looks horrible later. Something like that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and start working on our arrows. So I've got some arrows that I um, rendered in Cinema 4D. You know, if you've seen my artwork, you know that I do arrows all the time. So I got this little selection of arrows. I kind of rendered all these together in just different angles and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to grab one of these and bring one of these in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with this. So this is our first arrow, number one. And I'm going to stick this one, just why not, right here. Let's make sure we got the right size. That's about the right size. Uh, we're going to stick it right here in this little glowing spot right here all righty now we're going to cut out the the tip of the arrow because you know we're envisioning that the arrow is inside the skin so we're just going to kind of chop that off real quick just like that so now we got a nice little arrow here um and so we're going to leave it like that and let's go ahead and um let's make a layer on top of it and we'll just kind of kind of add some of these nice little yellow orange colors kind of going up the arrow because we're going to add a flame in just a second but I just want to make it look like it's nice and bright down here like that okay so you can see you know how we just made it nice and bright um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of these arrows all over the place and so that's kind of the idea here so let me go ahead and just copy and paste this one and uh, we're going to stick this one all right, we're going to stick this one right here. I'm going to put you right here in this little, uh, my index finger. Stick that one there. And then I don't want to do the same arrow every time. So let me go ahead and uh, grab another arrow that's a little bit different vantage point. So let's copy this one. We'll bring this one over here. I'm going to put this one in the back of my hand. So this is going to kind of go like in my, my middle finger area. And we'll go ahead and chop this one off as well. Right there. And then we'll duplicate this one. And let's add this one over here to one of these spots. But make sure that one's below. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll put this one right below here. All right, let's get, how many arrows are we gonna do? I guess we're gonna do quite a few. Um, let's do this one. And again, we'll just put it in here. Stick this one right about here. Right there. And let's duplicate it and let's put it and that one as well. We'll just make it go at a different angle, kind of like that. You can't even see the tip there. Okay, so how many arrows is that? That's like six arrows. We're gonna need more arrows than that. Um, and so let's just go ahead and keep um, adding a few. Some of these are gonna be you know, behind the hand, so you're not gonna see uh, as much of them. So like this one right here, I'm gonna put one going down into my, my middle finger. I'm gonna kind of stick it right there. 
and then what we'll do is we'll just erase that section right there so that'll go back into that hand and then let's do another one let's make one even further away kind of down here All right, and let's do one more. We don't have one like in the wrist part, so I'm gonna stick one more right here and we'll just kind of do it like that. I don't have a light there. You know, I didn't have a little light on my, my hand there, but that's okay, we can draw it in. Not a problem. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? I didn't want to do that. I just want to do it right here. Okay. And then we'll make it go down a little bit lower. Like right there, right as the thumb is starting to start. Okay. I think that's good for now. We might add some more later, uh, but that's good for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of those arrows into one uh, group here. So they're all in, they're all in one group. And then I'm going to make another layer on top of that group, and I'm just going to go ahead and start painting those little white, what I did earlier, just kind of painting those little uh, orange and, and yellow little colors going into the into the um, you know the shaft of the arrow. So you know just making it look like there's going to be some bright fires. We haven't got the fires added yet, but we're going to in just a minute. So nice and vibrant orange colors coming up these up these um, these arrows kind of like that there we go all right so there's our arrows with our little lights on them I do need to go ahead and add um, a a little glow for this one. So I'm going to go back to that divide blend mode that I had earlier and I'm going to get a nice little teal color and I'm just going to paint right here on my hand right in here like that and let's do another divide on top of that one <clears throat> and this one's going to be a little bit more blue which is going to be more yellow and something kind of like that. And I think that looks good enough for now. We're going to add some more colors later, but something kind of like that should be good enough. Oh, and while we're at it, let's go in up here to this spot. On my index finger and then maybe some right there. maybe even some right up here oh we should add another one to my thumb I forgot about that let's let's get one more arrow what is our time 28 minutes I think we're gonna make it I think we're gonna make it all right copy this let's go back to our group of arrows let's stick one right on this thumb Ooh, right in the joint or right in the um, where it bends oh, no that might hurt Let's try this. Stick it right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and add some of those yellow colors coming up. Like this. And let's go down to our divide blend mode on our hand. Again, it's going to be that teal color. Right in here. And this one as well, right there. Okay, we're definitely gonna add some more glows and stuff later, so I'm not worried about that too much right now, but something like that, I think it's good. Good, good. All right, good time to save. Now, we need to add some fire. We need to add some fire here. So let's see if I can get some fire images 
of my own photography. And uh, let's see if I can get one here that might look all right. All right, we're going to try out this one right here. For starters, it's a little tennis ball on fire uh, out in the backyard. I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to bring it in. Okay, so we have all of our arrows. Let's make sure I get all of my arrows in one group. That did not work. Let's get all of my arrows into one group. Oh, we got one more. Missed one. Okay, here's all arrows. All right, so here's all our arrows. Let's go ahead and, and bring that fire in right above everything else, and we'll change that to screen, and let's just work on one at a time. So I'm going to work on this thumb one first. That looks like it would really hurt. Right on the thumb, that would hurt. Okay, so we're going to leave this right here, kind of like that. And then we're going to smudge this tennis ball, because we don't want a tennis ball like it's not a circle shape, you know. So I'm just going to kind of smudge that, that tennis ball shape here. Just kind of smudge it into um, where the arrow was at. So kind of like that. There we go. Just don't want that, I just don't want that circle shape of the, the tennis ball. Something kind of like that looks good. Tilt this up even more. There we go. That is a nice little um, thing right there. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Control J to duplicate it. And uh, I'm just going to bring this exact same one over here to one of these. I don't want to duplicate too many of these because you're going to be able to notice that there's like, you know, some of the same flames over and over. Uh, but I'm just going to make a smaller one and kind of stick this one right here. And then you can smudge it just a little bit more if you're, you know, worried about duplicating these these flames but I think that's going to be fine like that okay let's go and get another one another one another one another one all right this is not a tennis ball one I still like this one these are just little embers and everything uh, so I want to grab these embers here I'm going to bring this up here change it to screen and we're just going to kind of stick one of these flames right over top like right here, I think that looks pretty good. And we have these little embers flying, so that looks pretty good. Kind of like that. Okay, I think that's good. All right, and instead of trying to smudge all that out, I'm just going to erase a lot of it out. So over here, just kind of, oh, I guess we could leave those. Um, just a few little things we want to erase, but leave some of those smudges or some of those uh, embers. I think that'll be good. All right, not bad. All right, let's try to get another one here. Let's try this one. This is even smaller embers. Um, let's do that. Change it to screen. And let's work on, let's say, this one right up here, right on my index finger. Let's just kind of bring that one right there. Just like that. All right, and we do have a little bit too many embers. I don't, I don't want you know just a, a ridiculous amount of embers, and so I want to erase some of these. Like that. Looking good. Looking good. All 
All right, we just need to do a couple more little flames over here, and then I think we'll be... We don't want to overdo the flames, you know? So let's get just a couple more. Trying to find the best flame. That's always hard to do. The best flame. All right, let's try this one. So we'll do this one right here. Oops. Screen. All right, just like that. And let's erase the edges. All right, I think I got most, oh, I got one more, one more over here, okay. Let's do one more little flame that's not the same as the other ones. All right. And I like this little flame over here. Keep going to this, let's. Screen, and we'll stick this one right over here. Just make it a little bit smaller, kind of like that. All right, so we got all these little arrows with the little flames. I'm going to put all of those into a group here. Uh, these are our flames. And I think that's it's a it's a good start. We could add some more to the background, but I don't think I want to add too many to the background as much as I want to just add just a few more little embers here. So let me add just a few more embers in the background. And this is actually going to go behind the hand. So let's go behind the hand and we'll stick this right here and we'll do screen. There we go. I'm going to kind of warp it. Kind of like that. There we go. So now these are behind those arrows, which I think looks, looks pretty good. And let's do one more of these. Screen. And we'll just kind of stick these up here. Okay, so they are duplicated. Hopefully no one will notice. Hopefully not. Something like that. Okay, so we've got our hand. We've got our hand, and it's protecting uh, this person below, and we have all these lights. But now we need to really work on our um, what our hand looks like here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our hand and get a nice little orange, reddish color here, change it to overlay. And I'm really just going to kind of sell the idea that's way too much. I'm going to sell the idea that there is really bright fire going on up here on this hand. That's kind of the, that's kind of my my plan here is just to make it look like there's just so much uh, warmth up here. Now, not on the bottom. The bottom's got that blue that blue color here, but there's just a whole lot of flames and and warmth, and it's just it's just really hot up here. We can even put some on the Tops here. This. All right, so that's just going to make it a lot more orange here on the top. Now let's do another one, and we're going to do our divide blend mode again with that blue. Like this. Same thing as earlier. Just want to make it nice and bright up here. Nice and bright. Let's get some nice um, saturation here, especially like right here on these these back um, fingers here. They're kind of reflecting some of this 
this heat that's going on. Divide blend mode does a really good job with this. And let's go back underneath that, do an overlay with white. There we go. It's really going to make it even brighter. Should be the brightest where the flames are at. And then as you get further away, it's going to turn into that little reddish color. Okay. Kind of like that. All right, how are we doing on time? 40 minutes. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right, let's go ahead and do a levels adjustment on the hand. We're going to make it a lot darker down here. And then we're just going to, again, we're going to kind of make this top part really the brightest part. There's still a little bit of blue there on the bottom, and that's okay. But we just want to make sure that this, this top part is the brightest. Like that. All right, so here's before and after. Just made it a little bit darker right in the middle. I think that's good. That's good. All right. Tone this down just a little bit. All right, now let's go to the very top and let's do something very similar as what we just did a divide blend mode with a nice blue. And so we're gonna add the glows, but we're adding it on top of everything now. We were just doing it on the hand, and now we're gonna do it like on top of the flames as well. And so let's change that blend mode down. There we go. So just really gonna amp up these these colors here, especially wanna focus like on these, these arrows. These arrows are just burning up. They're just really hot. And so they're going to be burning up. There's actually going to be like a little glow coming off of the, the flames because they're so, so intense. Here. And while we're at it, let's just add a little bit of blue down here. All right, so at this point, what we're going to do is I could, I could work more on details, but we're going to have to start doing some color grading in just a minute. I'm going to turn my arrows down just a little bit like this. And then make them nice and bright right here at the bottom. Let's do another divide blend mode. I think all I do is divide blend modes. That's okay. Do this right on our arrows. There we go. They're nice and bright as they are making contact with the skin here. There. Okay. That's pretty good. Anything else I want to do before color grade? Anything else? All 
All right, so let's go ahead and start working on some color grade, and then that will be the, hopefully gonna tie everything together. So let's go ahead and do a levels adjustment, make everything nice and dark, kind of like this, and then I'm going to um, mask out these bright sparks. So the entirety of the picture is nice and dark. But I just want to bring out some of this, some of these lights right here, and then just a little bit of light down in here. I like that. Okay. There we go. It's not bad. Let's just do, um, I'm going to do a multiply blend mode here. Just try to make things just a little bit darker down here that aren't on the model. Just kind of like that. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and do some color grades. I'm going to do a gradient map. And let's go ahead and do this one right here, purple and orange. That is intense right there. So let's tone that down just a little bit. Kind of like that, purple and orange. Let's do a brightness and contrast here. Kind of like that. That is intense right there. Let's go ahead and mask out just a little bit of this because that's just too intense right up here. Okay. Let's make her just a little bit darker. All right, so let's try, since there's blue on the bottom of this hand, I want to try adding just a little bit of blue overlay on top of her. This may not work. I don't know. We call. I don't know if you'd say that works or not. Yeah, we're going to tone that way down. I don't like that too much. All right, let's go down to our background. This is what we did earlier. I'm going to try to make it just a little bit brighter. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm just going to try to make it just a little bit brighter, especially like right behind the model right there. Just so that the main thing that we see is just the model and these hand, this hand like that. And let's go make sure we add noise. It's always good to add noise. This is the uh, the part in my um, editing process that just is just pretty much all. It's all experiment. That's really all it is here. It's just all experimenting. All right. 
anything else we can do here? I don't like those grades. Okay, so I think if we just start to add a little bit of vibrance, it's going to bring it in together a lot better. Let me turn it down just a little bit up here. That's just a lot of vibrance. Now, if I had more time, I don't think I have enough time, uh, but I could add some more arrows that are, are like you know, in the background or like right near her. And so it shows that they're not hitting her. I just don't have enough time for that right now. Um, but I think that could be a good uh, thing to add. Um, just arrows all in the background, you know, that are completely missing her. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, just a little bit of contrast here. And one other thing I want to do, and then we're just about done, aren't we? We're just about done. This is going to have to be the best I can do in one hour. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's, you know, it's kind of just watching me work. That's really all it is. But I hope that you still, you know, learned a little bit of something from this. Just kind of get this. All right, anything else we can do? Um, so another thing I like to do, I think I've explained this in other videos, but some things I like to do, uh, so here's my color grade. So far, I don't even know if I like that better or not. But one thing I like to do is do a, a brightness and contrast on top of everything and then go to image, apply image, and then click OK. And what that does is it just selects all the, the bright parts of the image. And then you could just really make your flames brighter without making the dark parts uh, brighter. Or you could make the, fl the flames you know, a lot darker, kind of like that, and add contrast to them because it's only affecting the bright parts of the image. Um, and you can duplicate that and then invert it. And so now you're only working on the dark parts of the image. And so we can just make the um, the dark parts of the image nice and bright like that and then make the the bright parts dark and so you get this really weird low contrast type of feel to it uh, which is you know another option that you can do I don't think I'm going to do that uh, but I think you know for the take of time I think that's all I'm going to have for today this is this is my um, essentially my final version of this image. I might tinker around with the color gray just a little bit more because I'm not 100% in love with it. Um, but this is this is my final project. So let's kind of go look at uh, what we did with our background or with our, our sketch. This was the sketch. Had this little hand over top of this person sleeping. Oh, I forgot the shield. I'll add the shield after I'm done with this video or after I you know, finish recording it. Uh, but we'll add the shield in there. And so it looks like, um, you know, she's asleep. She has her shield, but she's not using it because she is asleep. But that's okay because God is protecting her. Uh, but that's the idea. We went from this sketch to this picture and uh, did it in under an hour. Hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you learned a little bit of something uh, just watching me work. And uh, but that's all I got for today. Hope that you have a great weekend and I will see you again at the next video. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, after just a few more minutes of tinkering with this photo, probably about 15 more minutes, I was able to come up with this final rendition. I kind of played around with the color grade just a little bit more, but this is what I ended up with, and I've got the the shield and the sword. I added a sword down here as well, 
So the idea is we have this warrior here down here, someone who is uh, fighting and, and defending themselves, uh, but they are asleep. And so, you know, that's that's the whole point of the picture, that God comes in and um, protects us even when we are defenseless. And so, guys, uh, to in total about an hour and 15 minutes, but I hope that you enjoyed this one. And uh, again, that's all I've got for today. Um, have a good weekend. Hope that you're inspired to create something amazing this weekend as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Thanks, guys.